This Simon Sebag Designs necklace is a showstopper. My name is Barbara and I approve this message. Hi, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I'm going to open a mystery box of jewelry. Today's jewelry unboxing is from ThreadUp. This is their 15 piece jewelry box. It's called a rescue box. And being a full-time seller on eBay, I'm always hoping that I can find some inventory in these mystery jewelry boxes to list in my eBay store. I'm just gonna dive right in and open the box. Let's get started. Now that we have the camera facing down, let's get started with opening this box. And first, let's take a look at where this box came from. And this one is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So let us proceed with the opening of our Thread Up 15 piece mystery jewelry box, AKA rescue box. And this is what we see when we first open the box. Here's a quick look at the outside of the bag. We will start with the box, one of the boxes that we saw and see what we have, the Vera Wang, simply Vera. It looks like there is a ring, a very blingy ring. And this says, crystals from Swarovski. So, looks like we have a Swarovski ring set in silver tone. This looks brand new. And I'm guessing that might be some sort of Swarovski jewelry mark on there. This is very pretty. I like it a lot. Let's see what size it is. And it looks like this is a size seven. Really pretty ring and a great start to the box. And next I'm pulling out the second box we saw in the bag. Keep Collective. It's a brand new box it looks like. Uh, let's see what the back is. Key Fob Rose Gold Gunmetal. Well, let's take a look. Share Keep Collective. I have never heard of Keep Collective. This is a brand looks like brand new for sure a little bit of discoloration on the card here but it is indeed a key fob in rose gold it looks like it has a little notch there and a button where you can add charms so i wonder if the charms are extra or if they come packaged that way this does look brand new so i don't really want to open it until i look into it but have you guys ever heard of keep collective it's actually very cute. This would make a great gift. So we have a crystal embellished Hansa hand, an L, and an arrow. I will do more research on this and decide if I should list it in my eBay store. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to see anything in this unboxing that you'd be interested in purchasing, drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. That's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. The email address is on the screen right here and drop me a line we can work something out on the price pulling out the next piece looks like a statement necklace and oh it's double-sided so let's open this up and take a closer look at this black on this side and i love the brown neutral tones on this side this is definitely a statement necklace this material is plastic really cool little pieces and components here with the holes cut out on a couple of these and on the ends too. Look at that, I like it. I like the shape of the pendant, the crescent. I would call this a frontal necklace. It's got a rectangular chunky gold tone chain. And let's see if there's a maker's mark on this. I'm not seeing a maker's mark on this. It's got one of those jumbo size, oversized lobster clasps. I think it's a really cool piece though, especially those brown colors and perfect for fall. So. This could definitely be sold. I will list this necklace. Okay, reaching in the bag and pulling the next item out. It looks like earrings. Let's open it up. Here's a better look at the earrings that were in the bag. On the bottom left, we have starfish earrings, a square crystal earring, and some tiny hoops. So let's start with the starfish earrings. Here's a closer look. 
They are gold tone with sort of a coral enamel paint on them. Textured, really cute. I am going to do the magnet test. I did take the back off of this one earring to check to see if there were any jewelry marks. I didn't see any. Now let's try this magnet. And this earring is definitely sticking to the magnet. So I think they're really cute earrings, but they are not precious metal. Let's go on to the next pair. Here is a close look at the last pair of earrings. These are silver tone and there are two pieces of wire holding the center stone, which is probably a crystal or a CZ. Really cute little hoops. Here's a look at the back of the earrings. Now I'm checking for any kind of jewelry mark and I am seeing something right there. That is stamped with 925. I am going to put the magnet to it next. Let's see what happens. Okay, the earrings are not attracted to the magnet. I'm pretty sure these are 925. Let's put on the screen right here the results of my test that I do after the video, whether or not they are 925. These are so attractive. I really do like these earrings a lot. Here comes the next piece. This looks like a necklace with a tag on it. Let's get the details on this. Aha, okay. We see 44.50 is the price and Talbot's is the brand. And here's a better overview of the necklace laid out. It's gold tone with these circles and then these bow-like connectors gold tone they are red painted or enamel painted i should say now we have a roller chain here and i want to talk about this price tag yes there is a price tag okay however talbot's has a jewelry mark or a jewelry tag that they put on all their jewelry which is a capital t and i am not seeing that on this necklace so one of two things probably happened here either someone at thread up tagged this as a talbot's piece or Whoever sent this in to thread up put a Talbot's tag on it. This, I don't believe, is really a Talbot's necklace. I am disappointed. I'm ready to move on to the next piece. But it is, it is a cute necklace. I'll say that. Let's see what we have next. Looks like a pearl necklace. Carol Lee, I'm seeing that right through the bag. So let's check this out. Looks like there's also a pair of earrings. So let me put those aside for now. We have a super long pearl necklace. The pearls are ivory. They are knotted and there's a close up of those pearls. I'd like to take a closer look and discuss this toggle clasp. The round part is a matte gold tone finish. The other part is quite uh, tarnished, turning, worn. Um, the other thing I want to notice here is I am not seeing a Carol Lee jewelry mark. Again, same case as we had in that Talbot's necklace. This looks like it's a piece where a tag was added. So, hmm. The necklace itself is great looking. I believe they are real pearls. I'm rubbing the pearls together to see if they are real or not. And they don't really seem gritty. So they might be glass pearls or just really great faux pearls. Not a bad looking necklace once that toggle clasp gets changed out. However, that Carol Lee tag does not belong on there. I'd like to ask your opinion about the fact of the tags being on there when they shouldn't be. Do you think I should contact ThreadUp and let them know that I've gotten a couple of pieces in this box that are not marked correctly? Or is that just the nature of the mystery box? I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section. And let's take a look at those earrings that were with that pearl necklace. The earrings are very pretty. They have these tassels on them, pretty long. And then the cap on the top is crystal encrusted. I'll show you a close up of these. Right away, I am noting, and I'm sure you can see too, that this has got a bead on it. It's a brown cat eye or a uh, tiger eye bead. And the other earring is missing the tiger eye bead. Uh, that could be fixed. I can fix that I can either add a, a different bead on each one or take off the bead on one but I do love the crystals I love the tassels and the caps on these are encrusted with crystals that are sort of a peachy color I hope you can see those they're pretty here is a piece that looks like a necklace chunky love what I'm seeing through the bag let's get it out of that bag 
Oh, wow, this is pretty. Let me lay this out. One word, wow. <laughs> This particular piece right here is marvelous. Uh, first of all, when I was laying it out, it feels super heavy. This, I'm sure, is sterling silver. I'll take a closer look later as far as markings go, but it's not being drawn to, the, or the magnet is not being drawn to any of the metal pieces on here. A closer look at the beads. We have a smoky quartz oval bead, a knotted turquoise bead and then a faceted yellow and clear bead that bead I'm not sure about it could be a citrine bead it could be lemon quartz I will do more research to find out what that bead is the clasp is a very unique chunky hook and eye clasp and of course this is how that works and now the pendant is ready for its close-up look how gorgeous this is a round, irregular silver setting. It's got a beautiful turquoise cabochon in it. And on the back, SSD 925 Made in Israel. SSD is a designer, Simon Sebag Designs. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but let me tell you, <laughs> it's something that you should be happy if you ever found it in one of your mystery boxes. This Simon Sebag Designs necklace is a showstopper. This makes the whole box worthwhile. I'm loving it, I'm happy about it, and I would venture to say I could get between $150 to over $200 for this necklace. And I'm super, super excited about it. And we have next bag coming out here. It looks like we have ourselves a ring. And there is the ring, really cute, silver tone, butterfly ring, blue, royal blue crystals are faceted. Really cute ring, it looks brand new. And let's see if it's marked in any way. It is marked 925. Uh, that's the look at the bottom of the ring. Let's see if the magnet is attracted to the ring, and it isn't. The next thing will be the test. I'll put it on the screen right here to see if it tested as sterling silver. Uh, of course, we're going to size this ring. And let's take a look. It's a size six. So this is a really, really pretty ring. Very cute. Looks brand new. And I will definitely be selling this one. Okay, let's take a look at the next bag here. This looks like a necklace. Let's dump it out. This is a pretty cool pendant, it articulates. Look at that. It has textured links in it and smooth polished links, double-sided. And take a look at the chain. This is a gold tone and it looks like we have four strands of chain with these stations. The gold finish on this is beautiful. It's It looks brand new and when we look to see if there's a jewelry tag on here, not seeing one. Interesting. This is an attractive necklace. It kind of reminds me of Monet, but it's a very pretty costume piece, no name, and it may be sellable. We'll see. Okay, one thing about this box is there's definitely a mix of chunky and delicate. And so next we're pulling out a pair of more delicate earrings. And this is what these earrings look like. They are crystal or CC dangle earrings with teardrop shaped crystal or CZs and then it's got smaller crystals surrounding it. And then you can see there's a square crystal connecting it to the ear wire. Even the ear wires are crystal encrusted. This would be a great bridal earring. These are really beautiful. I look at the back here and you can see it says AG, which is the chemical symbol for silver. I've never seen that on jewelry before. A 925 KD. Let's do the magnet test. That's a good sign. I'm going to test these, put on the screen right here if I can confirm that these are sterling silver. And I really like the earrings, really pleased with them. Going to the next item, it looks like a necklace with a delicate chain. Let's see what we have. Here's the necklace all laid out. A gold tone, almost bronze tone round pendant a silver tone chain with little ball stations. We'll take a look. I'm seeing something printed on this ta tag right here. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. 
there is the image on the pendant. I'm not sure what to make of it, if it's symbolic of something that I'm just not familiar with. I'm seeing feathers and maybe a crescent. I'm not sure what that symbolizes. Let's take a look at the other side. Alex and Ani 2016, Grace, Journey, Blessing. And look how that pendant is attached to the chain. That's interesting. And the chain is a very tiny box chain. On this side, the tag says Alex and Ani. Let's flip it over. On the other side, we see patent pending 925. So it is sterling silver. The length of the necklace can be adjusted by pulling on these slider beads here like this. So I just made it shorter by pulling. And then of course you can pull one side to make it longer. Isn't that cool? So what we have here is a sterling silver Alex and Ani necklace. It's adjustable and it has that round pendant. Really cute necklace, glad it's in the box. The next item's coming out and looks like we have another necklace. Here we have a gold tone chain necklace with clear beads dangling all up and down. Biggest bead here, looks like we have graduated size beads actually going all up and down the necklace. Giving you a closer look here at the chain and the beads. On the side here, it looks like they have extra gold beads. It's kind of like those disco ball beads I call. Um, there are a couple of those on this necklace right there on the side. The necklace is finished with that spring clasp that is so classic for a J. Crew piece. And there you go, the J. Crew jewelry mark. I'm always happy to find J. Crew in these mystery jewelry boxes, so very happy to have this in my box. I am definitely going to be selling this one. And here comes a blingy thingy. What do we have here? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a statement necklace with these rectangular faceted crystals down the front. Antiqued silver tone chunky chain. Here's a closer look at the chain and we have a lobster clasp. And there you can see the B with the backwards R. That is a Banana Republic jewelry tag. Here's a close up of the pendant itself and it looks like all the crystals are there. I really do love this necklace. I'm happy that it's in the box. Beautiful Banana Republic statement necklace. What did you think of this box? I hope you'll let me know in the comment section down below. I always love hearing from you guys and I answer every comment. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please hit my face. That's right, my face on the right hand side of the screen. Once you click on it, it'll take you to a subscribe option. If you enjoy jewelry unboxings like this one, Check out the two videos on the left side of your screen. Thanks for coming in today for another video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.